growing Latino community in Baltimore has been keeping a very close eye on the unrest there over the past couple of days. The latest government census shows Latinos make up almost 5% of the city's population, and that number is rising. In fact, the number of Latinos in Baltimore more than doubled from 11,000 in the year 2000 to 26,000 in 2010. Joining me now is the executive director of Casa Maryland, Gustavo Torres. Casa Maryland is a service organization that advocates for immigrants and provides them with assistance. Gustavo, good to see you. Thank you, Jose. Your group's Baltimore office is located in the area where the riots broke out on Monday. Tell me your reaction and how the Latino community is reacting. That is correct. First of all, I want to tell you that we are in solidarity with the African-American community. We are working together for many, many years. Actually, the city, the mayor, have been welcomed the Latino and immigrant community for many, many years, so we feel very welcome in the city. We believe that is totally unacceptable what the police have been doing, so we are demanding more accountability uh, for the police department. So that is the reason why tomorrow we are going to have a big rally right over there in the city with thousands of people to review and to see what is the report that the police is going to release, because it's very, very important that, is, that justice is need to be bringing to resolve this issue. And, and Gustavo, the latest MSNBC Telemundo Maris poll asked what people think about how police treat minorities. 35% of Latinos said they think police treat minorities more harshly. 54% said the same. So what are some of the concerns the Latino community has with police? Well, it's many issues. Uh, and by the way, it's not only in Baltimore City, but it's all around the state of Maryland and in Virginia. It's related with uh, police brutality. It's an issue of when you are undocumented, uh, the police feel that you don't have any rights, so they, they abuse you all the time. So I think that is very important that, yes, the African-American community have been suffered tremendously for many, many years, this police brutality, but Latinos also have been in the same situation. So that is the reason why we we are together. That is the reason why we're working together in partnership with the African-American community in Baltimore, because we believe that is the only way how we can bring justice to our communities. Gustavo, communication specialist with Casa Maryland, Maria Jose Sandoval, says the African-American and Latino communities have had their differences, but in times of crisis, to support each other. Talk to me about those, those differences. Absolutely. I mean, we have differences that are, are not as important as things that unite us. So, for instance, anything related with affordable housing, economic development, bringing justice to our community, make sure that we register people to vote. All of that we have been working for many, many years, and we are going to keep working because it's the only way how we are going to change the city and this country. And, Gustavo, important that people know that uh, Latinos, as you say, in many times and in many places, uh, suffer uh, similar injustices uh, as do African Americans and others. Yeah, that is correct, uh, Jose. As I mentioned before, in particular, uh, our community who are undocumented, and, and you know, the, the federal government have these uh, very difficult programs called Secure Communities. They already changed the names that pretty much deputize the immigrant, the, the police department to arrest immigrants and to pass them to immigration. So that is one of the challenges that we face yeah. in our community. In Baltimore, and, and in particular. Uh -huh. yeah. No, I'm just going to tell you, Secure Communities has changed its names, but some of the procedures are still in place. That is correct. That is part of the problem that we face, and we have meetings yeah. already with the administration because, yes, I'm very, I'm very happy that they changed the name, but we only, we not only want that they change the name, we really want that they, cha they change the procedures, the way how the collaboration between the police and the immigration is impacting our communities. Gustavo Torres, Casa de Maryland, thank you for being with me. Thank you for the opportunity.